In this activity, we're going to make a marshmallow catapult. For that, you'll need a box. Uh, I'm using a fruit juice carton, uh, some elastic bands, um, sellotape. Uh, you also might need some stronger uh, tape than sellotape, so I'm going to use some insulation tape as well uh, to reinforce it. Uh, two pencils, uh, a plastic spoon. Um, you don't want a too long uh, plastic spoon, even a teaspoon of plastic spoon is fine. And some uh, marshmallows for firing. Now you might need a few more marshmallows for eating while doing this experiment. So here we have the um, two. Uh, here we have the two. Uh, here we have the two pencils at the end of the milk carton. Uh, I've um, just put a little bit of uh, insulation tape there, just as extra strength at the bottom, just so that they don't uh, pull in at the top. And then you're going to take um, an elastic band and put it at the top of the two um, pencils. And then you're going to get your spoon. Now, the confusing way is you want to launch the catapult this way. So you're going to put the um, marshmallow here and it's going to launch this way. But if you turn it the way you want it to launch, and I'll do that now just to show you, if you turn it the way you want it to launch and let go, it will fire backwards. So what you need to do is put the um, spoon in the direction you want it to launch that way, but then um, actually uh, wind it in the opposite direction. So you're putting in energy into um, the elastic band. Uh, this type of energy is called potential energy. And what's going to happen now is when you uh, release it, it's going to go in the opposite direction. So it's going to unwind and then launch the, um, launch the marshmallow in the opposite direction. So that's it wound up now. And then you can place the uh, marshmallow there and then move it to it and then let go. Once you've done the, the basic catapult, uh, some other things you can do with it is you might try to see if you can get it further with a different type of elastic band. So I've gone for a thinner, a smaller elastic band here. So I'm going to do the same again, put it in um, into the elastic band and then you want it to fire that way. So you actually have to um, wind it up in the opposite direction. So we'll do that here. And you could also do an experiment to see how many times, does it go further the more winds that you put on it? That's another experiment you can do. Uh, also, another experiment you could do is see if um, a person could go down this end of the table and actually catch it in their mouth, catch the um, marshmallow in their mouth. Um, the one thing I would like to say is though, sometimes the uh, when the spoon spins around to the end, the spoon itself could fly off. So just uh, just be weary of that. So we'll see if it's, this is a, a thinner elastic band and see if we get any further with that. No, that's actually, um, that it didn't go as far as the other one. So play around with that and see uh, how far you can get with this uh, elastic band catapult.